You're a little tired, man. Yeah. Um, I get home and I get with the family and I don't want to go to sleep. So mm. when it comes to spending time with the wife, I get home, what, 8 or 9 p.m. And then we up to about 11, 12. That's our time we get to spend together with the family. And uh, I don't care about getting to sleep at the time until the time comes where I'm getting up. And I'm like, what did I do? You know what I mean? But other than that, we're here. We got a water spot removal. We got a headlight restoration and we got an inside uh, cleaning, no shampoo. And of course we take care of all the cracks and crevices, air vents, door jams, cup holders. You guys know the drill. But um, this is a new client here and I don't even know how she found me, but this is my area. So I'm pretty sure she found me on Google. For the most part, that's where I get about 80% of my clients and she's excited she came all the way out from the bay area and i'm here in sacramento and she said that uh, she's very excited to get this taken care of i know it's a lot of money but um, i'm looking forward to seeing the results so is it difficult ma'am finding time to do family things it is very difficult finding that balance because i used to watch in the movies where the fathers weren't showing up to the baseball games and the kids were mad looking for dad to show up and i always looked at those movies like how could they do that like what is their problem and now i'm that guy that i have to make a decision like do i run out and take care of these three cars and then my wife is going to my daughter's baseball game like what decision do i make so it's just that balance like hey one game i'll go to for the month and then once a month i'll go to it like you got to really make a plan and stick to it because uh, kids, when you tell them something, they have a lot of faith in you. They believe it and they don't doubt it. And once you start breaking that, they don't trust you. So you really got to make sure you stick to that. And uh, it, it is a balance and um, I'm learning and growing still. And uh, a lot of the times I do sacrifice. I'll be like, forget the whole day. And I'll give all my details to a detailer. So it's just about sacrificing and them seeing that you're sacrificing so that the family knows that, you know, you love them because love is sacrifice. So if you're choosing a business over your family all the time, that's going to be a problem. And I know a lot of detailers, you guys always write me like, Wayne, how do you balance, man? How you doing it? Man, I'm just doing it. All you can do is just do it. Um, I'm not perfect. And don't stress about it. Just do it, you know? People look at me on my videos, and they see my family, and they see me out on games, they see me detail, and they think I got it all together. I don't. So don't be mistaken while you ask me these questions. Like, Hunter got it all. No. <laughs> it's a battle. <laughs> if it wasn't for Christ, our relationship would have already been destroyed because my wife, when things ain't going the way it's supposed to go, she's able to go and pray, open her Bible and pray for me to have wisdom and knowledge on how to navigate my business. So her prayers have kept me and my prayers have kept me. God is keeping me. So just make sure you put him first or things will fall apart because you just won't have peace. You know what I mean? So I just want to make sure I let you guys know that. I am working five days a week. Um, sometimes I work Saturday, sometimes I don't work Friday, sometimes I do. I'm trying to work on cutting out my Fridays all together, but for the most part, six days and sometimes five. And here and there, I'll call off and uh, give the details to other uh, detailers. So I'm trying to work on having more time with God and more time building my business up because I came to a point in my business to where if I don't get in the books and I don't learn the business, it's gonna, I'm a plateau. I'm gonna just stay at a level. And I see my business growing at a bigger level. So I'm hiring an accountant. I just hired a receptionist for seven hours. I just hired an employee, which you guys met, Jay. I have another guy coming in to fill the van. So I'm trying to get these people in place. It may seem like you're losing because there's so much going out. But once you get it going and the system going, now you can just duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. So that's what I'm looking to do. Um, and it's coming together, I see the vision, so I'm gonna keep pushing. Now, it's summer, the busy season, right? Are you trying to get in as many cars as possible, or are you trying to stay to a certain limit? You know what, Rez? I can't even really tell you. Um, that's one of the problems. I'm just taking it as it comes. Um, I'm trying to learn the structure of just because all this work is coming in doesn't mean that I have to take it all. So I have a team and I'll hand details off, you know what I mean? Because I, I find myself out here all day and I realize the work is not going nowhere. 
And once you turn that on in your head, like, okay, God is providing, let it go. He will provide, he will provide. That's what I try to tell myself over and over and over again because I don't want to worry. I'm like, I got to get this because I don't know if it's going to come again. So sometimes I get still in that mentality of the beginning stages of my business. Like, where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, there it is. No, like it's flowing in. So structure myself. Don't take everything. All work is not good work. So as I'm speaking to you guys, I'm preaching to myself. So yep, keep that in mind.